Hi, everyone. I'm happy to be here with you, and I want to thank the Election Committee for putting this together. Um, my name is Penny Taylor, and I love Union Square. Um, I'm an art worker. I have been a recipient of a Somerville Arts Council grant, and I have a 2019 Community Curator exhibition coming up at the Somerville Museum. I invented a game, and I run a small business from my home. Um, I was elected as a delegate to the State Democratic Convention this year, and this past election season, I knocked hundreds of doors for our DSA endorsed and our revolution endorsed candidates. I heard our neighbors clearly. The top concern is affordability. We want to maintain the economic inclusivity that allows for our diverse neighborhood. Next Monday, US2 reveals a plan that shows they only are planning 10% of the green space they originally committed to. They cut out arts and cultural support and cut out a community center. This meaningless gesture of community benefits might be funded by the Board of Aldermen on Monday. So while we're working to form this group, which is very important, in the meantime, we need to keep up this pressure on our elected officials um, and pressure the BOA to delay that vote so we have things to negotiate for. Union Square development could promote economic justice and amenities our community needs. I would advocate for sizable green space, including gardens, sustainable infrastructure for stormwater and car-free transit, and a community center. All the construction could be union, and businesses could offer livable wages, committing to real community benefits. I look at Juliet, a small business committed to a $15 minimum wage. We can do more, not less. Yet over and over, Somerville and development has a track record of letting developers do less. I'm looking at the Frit waiver here. We can't live in an architectural rendering. We must hold US2 accountable for real community benefits. We can avert displacement with more affordable housing. We will reach out and get more neighbors active in pressuring the developers to respect the people in Union Square. So thank you so much, and I hope I'll have your vote on December 2nd or December 6th. Thanks so much.